All right, guys, Tash Guy back again today. I'm enjoying your day so far. And a major question these last couple of weeks has been exactly how many cheaters are there in the Challenger scene? A lot of issues with these Challenger's Cups last weekend. People getting cheated out of decent points placings in these tournaments. And the Challenger scene, and well, the Wager scene, and Search and Destroy Charles, and this type of stuff has been pretty much ruined by cheaters in this new PC environment these first couple of months of Call of Duty Black Ops Card War. But the question is, in the Pro League, is this stuff going on? Right, we'd certainly hope it's not the case. We'd say, okay, Challengers might be a little bit chalked. They probably don't want to say to the challengers players okay yeah we're going back to ps5 given they've all dropped our bags on these new pcs for the upcoming season they might just try and have to deal with it hopefully when the challengers elite comes around which will be the top eight teams in the challenger side from each region they at least uh, well hopefully are in a situation where they're not cheating but i guess we're setting the same hopes for the pro league right in the hopes that well none of our professional players in the cdl are cheating as well it certainly was a discussion last season it's certainly a discussion again this season and i'm intrigued to hear your thoughts on it in the comment section below like if you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you were new as always I'd greatly appreciate it. Really helps out the channel. Thank you very much indeed for doing that. Firstly, this then from Standy. So last weekend, the Challengers Cup number three. This guy Durpin was a well pretty blatantly cheating against them, and so uh, well there was certainly some dodgy clips that came out as a result of that. And uh, well, someone actually hacked his account. Well, I think he like deleted or changed his at or something, and someone got his old at and tweeted that last map ice right here in there. Well, as he went to eleven and three, this final map against Standy's team, which was General Daffy Royalty and Standy at the time. But um, yeah, certainly some cheaters on the Challenger side have has been a major issue and Crim6 and Co have been calling out a lot of them most recently. Last season it really was the awakening question right which is a frustrating question to still have to be talking about because I, I believe this guy's legit. I certainly hope he's legit but um, well as Crim6 says in this clip right here way back in the day this is uh, from July. It was like awakening POV and just having a joke right here and he says in this clip like if you believe awakening cheats you just suck right but awakening came in mid-season to the Florida Mutineers and just started lighting things up right like this rookie comes out of nowhere just starts dominating these online tournaments and um, I can certainly understand the concern from some of the pros like is this guy perfectly legit what's going on we've never seen this guy play on LAN and even though he probably is perfectly legitimate there was questions being raised right because this guy was just so good out of nowhere that unfortunately given the online environment the cheater question did kind of get raised this guy using a Cronus Max to do some sort of dodgy stuff is using a strike pack to reduce his recall like a wall hacks wasn't even really in consideration at the time but now in the PC environment that is now an additional consideration right but as Crim says at the time like look um, this guy's not cheating you just suck but as of late these last couple of months Crim's definitely been calling out a fair few cheaters in this online environment. And the problem is that there's a few different ways to kind of cheat and gain a competitive advantage in this sense. Of course, you can have aim hacks. That's probably not going to fly in the pro scene. Wall hacks you're probably not going to get away with for too long. But a few other things, like for example, as Illy says, a strike pack. There's this thing, a strike pack you can chuck on the back of your controller. And um, it just kind of acts as a typical scuff, like a cheap version of a scuff battle weaver type thing, which just puts the paddles on. But it can add some, like, well, it has some mods on it. I don't know exactly what the mods are, but one of them is anti-recall. And I'm sure there's some other ones as well that would add a level of competitive advantage and nearly kind of joking about it right here that anti-recoil m4 from back in the day you know i got those best strike pack settings so there was also the discussion about the cronus zen giving you some advantages not exactly sure all the ways you could possibly cheat in the game but it's not just aim hacks and wall hacks that you could download to give yourself a competitive advantage and that was the discussion really last season and in the optic podcast a couple of days ago they were discussing this right they were talking about the cheating problems in a number of games right now especially like on the warzone side for example it's a pretty big deal the guys on the Hard Points podcast were talking about that as well. But as Hip says in this clip right here, Scump's not so convinced. Scump's like, look, I'm not really sure, but at least at some point we're going to get back to land so we don't have to worry about this type of stuff. And, you know, I do kind of feel for maybe a guy like Awakening, let's just say, for example, he's not cheating, let's just say he's perfectly legitimate, which I do believe he is. Then let's say we go to land, but, uh, you know, maybe he's a bit nervous going to land, like he hasn't done it in a while, and all of a sudden he starts competing below like, the level he would have done online for, for a little bit. Maybe the questions are going to be there, like, oh, this guy was certainly cheating online because now he's only dropping a 1.0, he used to be dropping a 1.2, these kind of unfortunate questions are going to be raised, and just something that, uh, well, if we had an attitude in the game, we wouldn't have to deal with these type of questions, but as Hitch says right here, look, he believes that some pros, given the amount of money that's on the line, are, well, are cheating in these matches, and well, that's certainly not something we want to have to deal with, but realistically, what are we going to do about it? Like, don't be a loser, you're ne it's the internet, you're never going to get away with it, ever. You're never going to have a career in Call of Duty, or any other esport. You, you know think, uh, yeah. you think yeah. anybody in the pro league cheats? Or has cheated ever? Oh, damn. All oh, last year. That's 100%. a rabbit hole. Hundred <laughs> percent. I don't know. Somebody <laughs> strike packed or Absolutely. somebody I don't, I don't downloaded trust anybody something. in competitive environments. Dude, what's that little USB that I, people plug into the PS4? Because that thing is scary. strike pack. Strike pack. Oh, Cronus. No, Cronus. Cronus. Yeah, that the Cronus. Thing. I don't trust that Cronus. thing. Dude. Oh no, we got cheated on for uh, three years no. in MW2, and Hitch refused to believe it. Oh, he did. Hey, it made us better. Huh. But yeah. I don't Lost know. Maybe a lot of money.
That would be very interesting. I can't wait for Land to come back. I think yeah, so much. I, I mean, I, I, I don't know who it is because I don't know, but it, there's no way one person hasn't cheated. They probably I, got smoked. I don't think it was the top two team. Yeah, I don't think you'd know. Yeah. There isn't a world since 2006. Uh, let's, let's, let's do even 2010. There isn't a world since 2010 in which you your doesn't get called out when it needs to and that you don't get caught. Nobody's perfect. You are going to slip. And you are going to get So Crim6 has been going around kind of tearing the amateur scene to shreds. This came out from December. How can someone snap that quickly? Actually, it was 10th of January, but this clip initially was from December. How can someone snap that quickly and that accurately and then proceed to get smoked right after? So definitely that uh, aim snap right there. Looked kind of dodgy, looked kind of aim hacky as well. And, and then, he, of course, he spawns that right in immediately. ADS that this guy, I don't know. Kind of, a, kind of an interesting, kind of a dodgy clip you could certainly argue from certain perspectives. But, of course, Crim6 going around tearing down some of these amateur players, exposing them for cheating. The problem is, really, that a lot of these players get exposed for cheating and then nothing really happens like nothing really comes of it like these guys don't get banned or anything sensor was saying it as well a couple of days ago like the fact that look we need to make an example out of some of these players like if you're caught openly cheating either on your stream like maybe you brought up the wall hacks or something on stream by accident or whether you went into theater found like 30 clips of them doing dodgy stuff like we probably need to start making examples of some of these cheaters just stopping them from competing in these tournaments because if we don't do that it's just going to keep happening again and again and again in this uh well in this online arena that we do now find ourselves in for the near future we get this as well so crim tweets out this and your known strike packer playing with a known j tagger so back in the day you could like j tagger 360 so that you could like install hacks on it and stuff like that playing with a known hacker who is banned under a different name riddle me how that all came to be so this guy comes in the reply who was banned under a different name kind of funny reply that he doesn't address the fact that crim says he was a strike back it doesn't address the fact that his teammate was a j tagger and uh, well as john says right here if the, if the reply to that is who is the person banned under a different name you have lost the argument undisputed you basically just admit to well what crim6 was saying right here and a crim tweets is out just going to leave this here so certainly a lot of issues on the amateur side but on the professional side we certainly hope this isn't the case i don't think it's going to be the case but in other games something like counter strike or something all the dodgy flush eclipse for example from back in the day and well pro players i mean optic india forsaken for example the word .exe stuff that happened a couple of years ago so it's happened in other esports we hope it doesn't happen in call of duty we hope of course our players have that integrity but that is what it is at the end of the day when right? we're hoping that these players aren't doing anything dodgy. We do also hope that the CDL this season, because every player has to play from the same facility, we looked earlier today that Illy's going to be flying into Dallas to play with the rest of his team. And well, all the players are going to be playing from the same facility for the matches at some point. And well, does that mean the CDL is going to be sending referees to each of these matches? And at that point, they can well check everything's in order and they can make sure nothing dodgy is going on. So on the pro side, I don't really have any concerns for this season in theory, but um, well, maybe last season something dodgy was going on and Hitch certainly believes that one of these players might be doing something and uh, well scum's just hoping we get back to land at some point so this no longer has to be a discussion but intrigued to hear your perspective in the comment section below as i well crim says war legend used to jtag 360s back in ghost and the guy completely disappeared the moment we went to xbox one so i wonder exactly why that would be and you know some other clips as well here so as crim says do something at game battles just so well some more dodgy clips from people doing dodgy stuff and that's one of the main problems here right the fact that these guys just aren't getting banned in the current state i mean they might be going around doing like mad pre-aim wall hack type of stuff Stuff. at least what it looks like it's very difficult to tell if something dodgy is actually going on without a lot of evidence right which is why okay banning people if you ban someone undeservedly like obviously that's a massive deal and we want to make sure that we never get any of those kind of false positives in this sense in this scene but certainly making an example out of someone who's super obvious with it who's well done it to well knock teams out of tournaments that are doing big things that's certainly something we probably need to look into and as doug says right here if you cheat in video games in 2020 you should be banned from that video game permanently it's a, it's an interesting take right because if you're like an eight year old or something and you're using cheats in Fortnite, you probably should be allowed to then compete when you're like 10 years later if you happen to be good at that video game but um, certainly if you're like old enough to kind of know what you're doing and you're still deciding to use these cheats certainly at that point i think at, at some point we have to say look this guy's just got to be banned indefinitely or at least have a, a significant uh, well punishment for some of these challenger guys that are getting banned like game battles just have to take a stand and get rid of these guys to at least incentivize other people not to do a similar thing and think that they can get away with it and i'm sure the ramifications if someone was caught in the 
promotional side would be very significant indeed. And they would, I'm sure, get banned from the CDL for that for, well, probably the rest of time. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, because that hasn't even been a possibility yet, that hasn't been even been discussed, then, oh, well, who knows if someone is trying these kind of things on behind the scenes with the amount of money that is on the line nowadays. Intriguing your thoughts on this stuff in the comment section, but also supposedly the CDL is intrigued to hear your thoughts as they say right here, want to help influence the future of the Call of Duty League, join this Recon Corpse thing and share your feedback from everything to league matches and teams to sponsors and brand partners. So I'll leave this link down below. And one of the questions I might have is exactly how they are planning to deal with this cheating situation. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, I'd greatly appreciate a like on the video. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm that you enjoy this content. Other people like you may enjoy this content as well and help grow the competitive Call of Duty community. Thank you for watching as always. Take care and I will see you next time.